What's up, Nail Geeks? I'm coming in hot and a bit tardy with this video, but I'm here and we are still gonna have our 10 chosen winner giveaway for this video. I'm gonna have a quick, tight turnaround time for it. So today is Saturday and I will draw winners with a pinned comment tomorrow, Sunday, November 7th at 2 p.m. Central Time. And that way I can get these out before uh, the shop closes if you are shopping in the US shop or the codes don't expire. So uh, you can always use them for uh, next month or anything like that. So without further ado, let's do this tight and compressed review. So first up is 1422 Designs. This is a man with a degree of suspicion described as a dark plum jelly with delicate shimmer, orange, red, purple, multi-chrome flakes and red to gold metallic flakes. This is inspired by Professor Plum from my favorite board game, Clue. Price is $12.50 and there's a cap of 100 bottles. Now as of yesterday, Yesterday, this did sell out in the shop. So if you are wanting to keep up with any sellouts and any potential quick restocks from makers, if they are able to do so, make sure to join the Facebook group. And I do have a FOMO thread on there that as soon as I get word that if a maker is able to add more stock to their polish, then uh, I do add it on there. So definitely make sure to pay attention to that. And I'll have that link below. And Alchemy Lacquers brings us Dungeon. This is a magenta jelly with pink to orange to gold shifting shimmer and red to black flakes. This is inspired by the Dungeon board game. Price is $12.50 and there is a cap of 250 bottles. Honestly, I'm a little shocked that this one's still in stock too. This does have a true jelly formula to it, but because it's so packed full of shimmer, it definitely has a opaque and quick buildup to it. So I'm gonna suggest between two to three coats and this is crazy shifty in person. It's got a lot of a warm color roll to it. So at angles, you'll easily see that orange and gold shift. And Aurora brings us Don't Make a Girl a Promise You Can't Keep. This is a deep shifty blurple polish with geometric sparkle that also glows blue in the dark. This is inspired by Cortana from Halo. Price is 13 and there's a cap of 250. Another one, this month has some really good ones. And this is what I would consider more of a micro glitter type finish. It does glow in the dark and it has a very harsh matte gritty type of dry down. True to these types of fine particle glitters, it's so glowy. In person, this is definitely what I would consider a true deep blue with a touch of a purple undertone to it. And right here, you can see how it glows in the dark. I'm also going to suggest a good glitter smoothing top coat with your glossy top coat. And Baroness X brings us mist. This is a clear based topper with a bright blue shimmer pigment and gold to lime shifting iridescent flakes. This is inspired by the video game namesake. Price is $11.50 and there is no cap. So this is a very lush type of topper. It's quite pigmented. There is so much here. I think one coat is perfect. It really pops as that strong striking sapphire blue over very dark cream bases. But of course, this is gonna give you more of this icy sort of appearance if you use a lighter cream underneath it. And Baroness X is also bringing us a quick drying spray. This is going to be 625 and there's no cap. So this is exactly how it comes. It has that screw top on it and then you just add on that little spray bottle thing to the top of it. Now this is intended to speed up your drying process after your glossy top coat. So this is basically what you do, one to two sprays on say four fingers and you are good to go. It moisturizes your cuticles and also helps to speed up the drying time of your polish. This is not intended to be used between your coats, but rather over your final finished look. And by Danny Viana brings us When I Dream. This is a light blue curly base with blue iridescent flakes and a mix of gray, matte, silver, and gold hollow glitters in different sizes and shapes. This is inspired by the namesake tabletop game. Price is 13 and there's a cap of 400 bottles. So this has a milky sort of finish to it when you are done. This does have a bit of a chonky sort of somewhat need to fish for those glitters. And because they are of the thicker type in terms of the glitters, I'm going to suggest going in for two coats on this one. If you go in for three, I do feel like you might have some over buildup to the base as it does have that somewhat thicker sort of viscosity to that milky finish. Now you are going to need to carefully place some of those larger glitters uh, wherever you're gonna go. And this is quite sheer and a true milky finish. So if that bugs you in terms of your free edge, I'd suggest a color correcting base coat. 
And Cameo Colors brings us Preying on Phantoms. This is described as a medium gray crelly full of hollow sparkle, indigo to purple to red shimmer, violet to pink to gold, and lime blue to gold UCC flakes and hollow micro flakes. This is inspired by the Prey video game. Price is $11.50 and there's a cap of 105 bottles. So this is what I would consider a crelly sort of formula, though in my opinion, it leans just a touch more on the jelly side. For opacity, I'm gonna suggest two to three coats. You guys remember I do have a terrible repair on my middle finger here. So I'm gonna suggest three thinner coats on this one. And next is Crystal Knockout Giggle. This is described as a bright pink jelly with holographic and golden shimmer, hollow micro glitter, matte dot glitters in blue, purple, and pink, and glitter stars in holographic silver and matte turquoise. This is inspired by Girl Talk, one of my favorite games back in the day. Price is 11 and there is no cap. So this has a true jelly formula. It's got a quite a bit of a squish factor. So I'm going to suggest going in normal to somewhat lighter on your coats. I didn't have any problems in terms of fishing per se, though I will say that I did leave my bottle upside down for a few minutes before I used the bottle for my swatches. So it definitely makes a difference in terms of these heavier type of glitters. And I think three light coats on this one is perfect. It plumps up very easily. And you're also gonna need a glitter smoothing top coat underneath your glossy to get everything nice and level. And Cupcake Polish brings us Dream Phone. This is described as a glowy magenta to indigo duochrome polish. Inspired by its namesake, price is 13 and there is no cap. So this has a very smooth, really heavily leaning on a jelly type of finish. Easy to build to opacity. I think three lighter coats is going to pop very well on this one. If you go in for two normal, I can see that working well, but to exploit and have that slow build up to give you that nice vampy sort of glow, I think that third thinner coat is going to be perfect for it. This is really shifty in terms of going from that nice, uh, definitely agree with the official description, magenta to indigo, and it does dry down semi-gloss. And Dom Nail Polish brings us I'll Be The Singer. This is a deep blue jelly with sparkly hollow flakes. This is inspired by Rock Band, price is $12.50, and there's a cap of $300. Another one that I'm a little surprised that this one hasn't sold out. This is a very much true jelly finish, so whether you wear it at two to three coats, will give you that nice clear jelly sandals sort of look and deepen out that base color depending on if you took it to third to three coats or not. Now I took it to three as a blue lover myself. This is very pretty. I do think it's very flattering. It's got that nice cool undertone to it. And you can, as you can see on the third coat, they're wonderful buildup. And it's got that nice squishy sort of jello appearance when you finish with a good glossy top coat with it. And Fair Maiden brings us Mother May I. This is a rose gold holographic micro glitter with iridescent illusion flake shift shifting in pink to orange to yellow to green. This is inspired by the outdoor game. Price is 12 and there is no cap. So this is, I have to absolutely agree with that official description. It is very sparkly in person. This is one of those polishes that I think you just have to see it on a video because it is so uh, blingy when you see it, especially under brighter lights. This is what I would consider more of a neutral sort of appearance, especially if you have medium to deep skin tones. And I didn't have any problems in terms of texture with it, uh, but you're going to want to go in with a good glossy top coat to keep those glitters sparkling. And Femme Fatale brings us baking flirty heart cookies. This is a perky magenta when warm to deep navy blue when cold thermal, filled with pink and red iridescent flakes that shift from orange to gold at angles in the light. This is inspired by The Sims 4 flirty mood. I love it. Price is 14 and there's a cap of 270 bottles. Another one I'm surprised is still in stock. So this has quite a bit of a squishy factor to it, but as you build it up, it has a strong glowing factor with the flakes. It gives this overall warm type of color roll against that cooler toned sort of base, especially when it's in the cold state. So I think three light to normal coats is perfect for opacity on this. Now I wanna note that the warm and the cold states, I do classify them really flirting with being in a similar color palette family. So it's not the most striking when you have it over in the cold state per se, but as you can see on the ice water shot, it's definitely noticeable in person and absolutely reactive. 
And Foxfire Wax and Bath Company brings us this Crystal Skull Diffuser. This is nine and there is no cap on it. This has the uh, scent note to it in the scent leaves, which to me is very true fall. And how you use this, it's designed to go in your car, specifically on an AC vent. So you're gonna open up your uh, little Crystal Skull bottle here. You're gonna pull out that plunger, hopefully with uh, a little more finesse than what I did. And you're gonna put on this included little shoulder thing on here and that's what's going to clip onto your uh, car AC vent and then you're going to put the little diffuser all the way through there and then that's basically a reed and the oil kind of goes up from there. You're going to want to put this on a vent where you're going to have the air mostly coming out of. And Garden Path Lacquers brings us I Will Create the Perfect Storm. This is an ultramarine blue curly base accented with bright aqua to purple aurora shimmer and large jade to blue to purple shifting metallic flakes. This is inspired by Tron. Price is 13 and there is no cap. So this is what I would consider a true metallic, almost flaky bomb like finish. I went in a touch heavier on that second coat and that's just because I was getting a little used to the repair that I did on this middle nail here. But as you can see, the formula is very, very forgiving. It does have that metallic feel, so it dries down very quickly and it builds very easily. I think three very thin coats or two normal coats would be perfect for this. And it has such a glowy, beautiful shift. And Glisten and Glow brings us on Thin Ice. This is described as an icy powder blue polish loaded with color shifting shimmers that shift from orange to red to yellow to green. This is inspired by the Thin Ice game. Price is 13 and there is no cap. So this has a very curly formula. I do think it has quite a bit of a squishy factor to it as well. So I'm going to suggest going in light to normal on your coats. Try not to overload that brush as uh, much as you would say a more jelly like finish. And it dries down on the semi flat side. So I think a good glossy top coat is perfect for this one. I feel like if you stop at two coats on this, it's going to give you more of that milkier sort of finish. And at three coats, if you have a prominent free edge, if you went in thinner like me, you will see just a touch of your smile line. And Glisten and Glow is also bringing back the Glitter Grabber. This is going to be eight. There's no cap on it. I have talked about this top coat so much on this channel over the last few months, and uh, I'm really glad it's back. If you haven't tried it yet, I 10 out of 10 recommend. It's perfect for glitters and flakes. And the way it works is you have a very thirsty or glittery or very flaky sort of polish. And if you want to just increase the glossiness overall in general, then you're going to add a layer of that over your polish and then finish off with whatever glossy top coat you want or matte top coat. And Hearts and Promises brings us You Sunk My Battleship. This is a very pale gray scattered hollow crelly loaded with assorted blue and purple flakes and micro glitters inspired by its namesake. Price is $12.50 and there's a cap of 200 bottles. So I do agree with that official description. This is uh, what I would consider more of a true white base and it does have that nice milky sort of finish to it. If I had a smile line, which you'll see on my other fingers, since I have that builder gel here on that middle nail, um, you are going to see a touch of your smile line with this one as it does have that true milky finish. You can see it on my ring finger there, and it definitely has that nice soft sort of sparkle. It dries down flat, so I think any top coat is going to be perfect. And Indie by Patty Lopez brings us Senna. This is described as a jelly base with Aurora Shimmer and Silver to Black Galaxy Glitter Hollow. Price on this one is $12.50 and there's a cap of 150 bottles. It's another one that I'm kind of surprised is still in the shop as well. Um, again, I will be uploading the FOMO thread in the Polish Pickup Facebook group for the polishes that have low caps like these. And uh, I'll make sure to keep you guys updated if they're getting low, if you are waffling and on the fence. Now, Senna does have a jelly-like formula to it, but is very easy to build to opacity. I'm going to suggest two to three coats on it, depending on how you polish. It is so sparkly in person, and there is a light purple glow. You can kind of see that on my full hand shot here. And I didn't have any problems in terms of it being super gritty, so I just think a thicker, glossy top coat is perfect. And MJ Lacquer brings us Batgammon Queen. This is an orange base shade with a few cafe brown holographic micro glitters, iridescent flakes, hex glitters, and holographic micro flakes. 
This is inspired by the namesake. The maker actually did tournaments. Price is $11.50 and there is no cap. So this has a wonderful opaque jelly-like finish. It's very smooth on those brush strokes and easy to build up. I think two normal coats is perfect for it. This is what I would consider a almost orange leaning type of yellow. It's a bit on the goldenrod side. It's really popping, even though it's warm against my warm tone. I just think it's a really interesting color. And Nail Artisan Cosmetics brings us Just Roll With It. This is described as a tri-thermal polish that shifts from a terracotta orange when cold to lemon yellow when warm to lime green when hot. This is topped off with multi-chrome flakes that shift from red and pink to green and golds. Inspired by Dungeons and Dragons, price is $13.50 and there is a cap of 150 bottles. Now, I want to strongly point out that I am running very warm, especially when I was swatching this one. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to show you guys that third very warm state. I just feel like I was running a little bit too uh, on the hotter side to uh, get the ice water or the overly hot hair dryer to work one way or the other. It was just being quite stubborn for me. And Night Owl Lacquer brings us Wordy Birdie. This is a gray tinged blue base with black to red to copper to gold flakes inspired by the game A Little Wordy. Price is $12.60 and there is no cap. So this has a very smooth, creamy type of finish to it. It does start off just a touch on the lighter side, and I want a touch heavier on that second coat. Again, when I was swatching this one along with that other one, uh, I was getting used to that repair on this nail here. But overall, beautiful, smooth formula. I think two normal or three very thin coats is perfect, and any type of top coat will be perfect as well. And Polish brings us Shoots and Ladders. This is described as a bright periwinkle with tons of pink to red to copper to green iridescent flakes inspired by the vintage Shoots and Ladders games. Price is 13 and there is no cap. So this has a true Corelli formula to it and depending on whether or not you stop at two or three coats is going to definitely depend on how that base color pops. So I think at the third coat, you can see here in just a moment, it definitely gives it that nice deeper sort of appearance. But I think if you wanted a softer, more muted type finish, I think two coats would also work as well. But I prefer loud and very in your face sort of finishes. So I think that third coat for myself is perfect. Now this does have a strong squishy factor to it. So I'm going to suggest going in lighter on your coats to prevent any sort of over buildup. And Painted Polish brings us Hail to the Queen. This is described as a tiger orange Crelly with purple metallic flakes inspired by the psychedelic purple and orange chess set. Price is $12.50 and there's a cap of 350 bottles. So this is uh, absolutely this interesting sort of almost burnt warm orange type of base color. It's packed full of those tiny, very metallic type of purple flakes. And this has a true creamy, satisfying self leveling formula to it. I think two coats is going to be perfect and finish off with any type of glossy top coat and you'll be good to go. And Pampered Polishes brings us the worst takes it all. This is a sultry, swampy green base with green shimmer, hollow flakes, and black flecks. This is inspired by Villainous. Price is $12.50, and there is no cap. So this has a true jelly formula, in my opinion, and I think it's going to look fantastic between two to three coats. It does have this very smooth type of squishy feel to it, true to a jelly. So when you go in with a glossy top coat, you get that nice squishy jello-like appearance. Now, I want to note, again, that I do have this builder nail repair on this middle nail here. So unfortunately, you guys aren't seeing uh, with a free edge, but if you look over at my ring finger and my index finger on the full hand shots, you can definitely uh, take a look at what the look like in terms of a smile line but for this one as you can see going up to three normal to light coats on this one really nice coverage and that nice delicate sort of sprinkled effect with those little flakes and Penelope Loose brings us Tyrant or if I'm saying that incorrectly I do apologize this is a neon pink base with green to purple to pink shimmer price is 13 and there's a cap of 500 bottles another one that i'm a little surprised is still in the shop this is a lovely bright vibrant type of what i consider hot pink sort of base color and the shimmer is quite strong in person in indoor lights and bright lights you're going to see that nice very green sort of limey type of appearance and at extreme angles you'll definitely see this pinky sort of purpley glow over at like shaded 
lighting and whatnot. I think three coats is going to be perfect for this one. It does dry down quite flat, so I'm going to suggest a good glossy top coat to seal this one up. Though, honestly, I think if you wanted to wear this one matte, it would also exploit that shimmer really well, too. And Psych Minerals brings us Matron. This is a black jelly-based multi-chrome that shifts between green, cyan, and purple. This is inspired by Adea from Final Fantasy VIII. Price is 12, and there's a cap of 150 bottles. So this is uh, what I would consider almost like a, a distant cousin to the previous shade that she released, I think last month, that nice vampy sort of multi-chrome. This is very much in that category of vampy, dark, very true to the inspiration in my opinion, and easy to build up. I think two to three coats is perfect for it. And you're going to get a strong, in my opinion, inky black base with a very obvious emerald to type of purple shift at shaded lighting. And Rogue Lacquer brings us Cluedo. This is described as an emerald green with green to gold shifting shimmer and soft scattered hollow and hollow flakes inspired by the UK version of Clue. Price is 13 and there's a cap of 500. So this has a very uh, true type of Crelly type of base to it, but per usual from this brand, very easy to build to opacity. I think two coats is perfect. There's a ton of glow. There's a ton of golden like glow to it and easy peasy buildup there. So I think that two coats is perfect and it does dry down somewhat flat. So I think a good glossy top coat will help to pop this one even more. And Rogue is also offering up a topper this month. This is Rainbow Road described as a rainbow flake metallic topper with some hollow and black flakes tossed in. Price is 11 and there is no cap. So this is what I would consider a true dense type of topper. It's really easy to build up. I honestly feel like if you go in a touch heavy or even wear it up to three coats on your nails in general, you can absolutely wear this by itself, but it is intended to be a topper. And because it's Rainbow Road, I wanted to show you guys it over a black cream and you can see just how dense that flaky payoff is. And Sassy Sauce brings us Itty Bitty Tiddly Committee. This is described as a dark green thermal with glowy red to gold shifting shimmer and black to red multi-chrome flakes that fade to colorless and just glows even brighter when warm. This is inspired by the game Tiddly Wings. Price is $12.50 and there's a cap of $500. I just want to say I am here for Sassy Sauce's names. They are always so clever and hilarious, uh, but I digress. So two coats is perfect for this. It has a very smooth, easy, somewhat jelly type of formula to it. Plumps up very nicely. And the thermal properties of this one are very, very reactive. I appreciated how in the warm and the cold state, it's super obvious, especially if you have a free edge. So you'll get that nice uh, free edge sort of appearance with the cold state. And the shimmer pops really well in both the warm and cold temperatures. And Scofla brings us Dogs Playing Poker. This is described as a delicate green shimmered brown jelly base with glitters in brown, green, and gold inspired by that famous painting. Price is $12.50 and there is no cap. So this has a true curly formula to it, which is what I think most of us are expecting at this point from Scofla. Easy peasy buildup, very opaque and how it applies. I think two coats is perfect. Try not to go in too thick as this does have a bit of a squishy factor and it dries down quite harsh and uh, quite thirsty. So I'm gonna strongly suggest a glitter smoothing top coat underneath your glossy top coat on this one, just to help exploit and just glossify it even more. And finally, we have Tips. This is Arcade, described as a black jelly filled with small magenta, blue, teal, yellow, and hollow hexagons. Price is $13.50, and there's a cap of $110. Now, at the time of this morning, I think yesterday, actually, when I was making the FOMO thread, it sold out, unfortunately. Uh, so you can definitely join the BST group, which I'm an admin of over there with my uh, co-admin, Lisa. And uh, if you wanted to see if anyone was going to offer it up when they destash maybe i'm not sure uh, i'm sorry for anyone who missed it because this is absolutely gorgeous and going in with a glossy top coat it's not really gritty in terms of texture and you can see just how much it sparkles very very pretty now the shop is currently open for shopping so you can get in there the shop is going to close monday november 8th at 11:59 p.m eastern time i will link you guys that below uh for the comments and for the giveaway again just let me know did you purchase anything uh yesterday at shop opening are you going to go back in uh please remember also that polish pickup combines your shipping when they start getting orders ready to go after the pre-order ends 
and um, you will only have to pay that standard shipping. So if you want to go back in this weekend up until the shop closes, you can absolutely do that. I will link that below for you guys. And I'll also link the Facebook group if you want to see additional swatches, uh, additional reviews, all that good stuff. It's there. And you can also check out my FOMO thread that, again, uh, I do keep up with with uh, the shop and its inventory. And if something sells out, I mention it. Congratulate the maker. But also uh, that's typically first where you'll see information of if a maker was able to up their cap if they could have added any more stock. So again, I think 1422 and tips in this video were the two that sold out, uh, but there are quite a few others that have caps on them. So definitely uh, get in there, check out that thread and uh, don't waffle on some of these because they do have lower caps. So again, I'll break all this information down below for you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment and I'll choose 10 winners tomorrow, uh, Sunday, November 7th to get your $10 PPU gift code. And I'll also have the timestamps below if you need to go back and check anything else out. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.